we're looking for some of America's most interesting, most exciting pieces of architecture. We wanted to do something that was an anti-lobby in Washington. 65,000 square feet of space, it's below ground. They wanted privacy at street, so we came up with a solution of removing all the doors and windows. So the house is only 12 and a half feet wide. Wow, that's skinny. This is only suspended from two points. You mean this is actually hung from the ceiling? Exactly. Designing a whole airport terminal is not a small job. We all lived together in a hangar for almost three years. Oh my God, it sounds like a sitcom. I almost feel like we're in the movie The Wizard of Oz here, transitioning from the old world to the new. We're right in the center of everything here, and we really saw that as an opportunity to invigorate this corner with a piece of iconic architecture. To be able to live in a tower on the Acropolis of New York is an extraordinary thing indeed. I've never seen windows like these. This is amazing. This is a wonderful example of brutalist architecture. Wow, this view is spectacular. This elegant project makes a significant contribution to the community, neighborhood, and public realm. Please tell me you haven't brought me here to show me this. This is what a lot of people are go to work every day, and we thought we could do something better. Sustainability is the key mission today across many areas of design. This is really one of the first projects in Chicago to have achieved three green globes. And by listening uh, as architects, it's not only listening to the client, but also listening to the land. How do you take hand-carved wood and do something completely new, but sympathetic to the neighborhood it sits in? The striking moment is up there in that bridge. There is a pool adjacent to the bridge. This heat's killing me. We could go for a dip. Now, Pavlo, you're killing me. I want to see the finished product. Yeah, I. Let's go. 